In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of levator scapula. Levator scapula. It is part of the shoulder girdle muscle. I am going to explain its origin, insertion, and function. Let's get started. The origin of levator scapula is on cervical spine. Cervical spine. C1 through C4. I think it's pretty rare. There's not much muscle that attach the cervical spine and scapula. Okay? Then, insertion is here. This part, scapula. The exact part is superior angle. Superior angle, you know, this part. If you open up anatomy book, that says insertion is superior angle. But if you look carefully, it kind of attaches on part of medial border. Okay, I, I think it attaches on superior angle and a little bit on medial border. Review of origin and insertion. Origin is C1 through C4. This area. Insertion is superior angle and I think it attaches on medial border. Now let me explain function of levator scapula. So this is levator scapula. Origin is cervical spine. If levator scapula contracts, that brings scapula this way. What kind of movement is that? That is elevation of scapula. Elevation is you bring scapula upward. This is elevation. If you look carefully, the direction of levator scapula is a little bit diagonal, right? This way. It is not completely vertical, right? little bit diagonal. Since it runs diagonally, the vector goes this way. So what kind of movement would it do for scapula? It brings this way. That means that brings scapula kind of this way. Rotational movement. This is downward rotation. Downward rotation. This is very important because this downward rotation, and by the way, there is other way for rotation. This is upward rotation. Downward rotation and upward rotation is very important for shoulder movement as well. If scapula does not move, you can't move shoulder very well. Scapula and shoulder joint should move together. So if levator scapula gets tight, the scapula is brought to this way and it stacks here. That means you lack the movement of shoulder. That's why the flexibility of shoulder girdle muscles is very, very important. This is basically movement for scapula. However, since levator scapula attaches on cervical spine, it has something to do with cervical movement. What is it? If scapula is stabilized, you know, imagine scapula doesn't move, then if levator scapula contracts, that brings vector this way. What kind of movement is it? It is side bend of cervical spine. Side bend. That happens when scapula is stabilized. That brings cervical spine this way. This is side bend. You know, levator scapula is relatively small muscle compared to other muscle, but that has so many function. Let's review the function. If levator scapula pulls scapula this way, that brings elevation. 
and downward rotation because the direction is slightly diagonal. That brings scapula this way, downward rotation. If scapula is stabilized, that brings cervical spine this way. This is side bend. Yes, this muscle is so, so important for shoulder guard tightness and shoulder guard movement. If levator scapula gets tight, you might have very, very tight shoulder this area. So, oh my gosh, this is so freaking important muscle. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.